What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. The topic of today's video is the CO2 reactor from Colombo. A lot of you guys were begging me to do an update on it. So here it is and it's still running, still producing CO2. Now if you have no idea what this is, uh, this is basically a CO2 system with homemade CO2. So in this canister we added citric acid, we added baking soda and we added water. And those three things combined, they make CO2. And on top of the canister we have a regulator and a bubble counter so we can control the amount of CO2 that we need for our aquascape. And we also have a solenoid valve so we can shut off the CO2 at night. I did a full unboxing and installation video a few weeks ago and I'll leave the link on the top of the screen. If you did not watch that video, I'll suggest that you watch that video first and then come back to this one. Now my plan was to make a update slash review of this product when the first batch of homemade CO2 would have run out. Um, but that's actually taking a little bit longer than I expected and some of you guys were getting a little bit impatient. So this is just a quick update. So it's still running, it's still producing CO2 and I actually don't think it's going to stop anytime soon. So from the beginning I honestly had no idea how long this homemade CO2 would last. I mean I have some experience with DIY CO2 with yeast and sugar and those systems they usually last me about five weeks maximum six weeks um, but this is my first experience with citric acid and baking soda previous video some of you guys commented that you have a similar system or the same system and your answers were also very broad some people said it lasted them two weeks and some people said it lasted them two and a half months and i guess that all depends on how big your tank is and how many bubbles per second you are injecting and whether or not you are shutting it off at night. So today at the time of filming it is the 17th of March and when I uploaded the first video of this it was the 3rd of February and that is actually exactly six weeks ago. So we already have six weeks of homemade CO2 which already, I think is really quite impressive. So the CO2 system is running on this 20 liter or 5 gallon aquascape and it's running at about one bubble per two or three seconds. I just did a timer for 60 seconds and I counted 28 bubbles. Um, so we get about 28 bubbles per minute. And the solenoid valve is hooked up to a smart socket that I can control with my, with my iPhone. And it's on a schedule from 12 o'clock in the afternoon until uh, 8 o'clock in the evening, so for eight hours. So we have 28 bubbles per minute for eight hours. So let's do a little math. That is 13,440 bubbles. So one bubble per two, three seconds is not a whole lot of course. Uh, so you, you would expect that this would last quite a bit longer than on let's say for example a 100 liter tank that, or a 25 gallon tank. Now they actually recommend this CO2 kit for tanks up to 300 liters or 80 gallons and I think that's a bit of a stretch of course. I probably wouldn't use this on tanks larger than 100 liters. Now the real urgent question is of course like how many more weeks of CO2 are we going to get from this first recipe? And my best guess is that we're going to get another six weeks for sure. So I think we're about, we're about halfway now. And the reason why I think that is because when we first set this up, when I added the first recipe, the, the pressure went all the way up to 20 bar. And right now we're, about, we're at about 10 bar. So we're roughly halfway. So after some real, real, some real complicated math, I came to the conclusion that we probably have another six weeks. So best case scenario, we're going to get 12 weeks of CO2 from this first recipe. And that's, that means we're going to have 12 weeks of CO2 for about 5 euros. One pack of 3 refills costs 15 euros. Uh, 15 divided by 3 is 5. So 5 euros. See, I'm really, really good at math. But all jokes aside, I'm actually really happy with this system. Uh, since I've made that video 6 weeks ago, I haven't had to do anything to it. I've just set it up and let it run by itself. The only thing I did is I refilled the, the water inside the bubble counter because the water evaporated or got pushed out. Um, 
Yeah, solenoid is working really well. I'm getting a stable amount of CO2 from the regulator. There's no fluctuations whatsoever. Uh, so it just basically just works like a normal CO2 system. And I actually really like this idea that when it is finished, um, by that time I don't have to leave the house to get a refill, you know, I don't have to visit some pet shop, I don't have to visit some aquarium shop to get my CO2 bottle refilled. I can just give it a clean, add new ingredients and, and be done with it. A lot of you guys also asked if this system could be used for the yeast and sugar DOI CO2 method. Honestly, I have no idea, but I think that it, this is something that we should definitely put to the test. So maybe when it's finished, you know, we can add some yeast and some sugar and see, see how that works as well. I'll be, I'll be very curious to test that out. All right, so that's it for the quick update on the CO2 generator. We're gonna keep you guys posted. Let's see if, we, if my predictions were right and we're gonna get another six weeks. Uh, if you have any more questions about this system, just drop them in the comments below. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like the video, it really helps me out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.